Hello and welcome to our first edition of Kanga TV. Tonight we have a couple of special blokes here. Uh, we've got uh, the new appointed coaches, joint coaches in Luke, Oyster, Nathan, and also Andy Jardine. Welcome boys. Thanks, Thanks Baz. Baz, for having us. Thank you. Um, with this new Kanga TV that we're going to be running for the whole season, we're going to be doing profiles on all, well, all our stars we have both netballers and footballers and also we'll have a bit of fun with a, with a few other things as well so it's going to be a great year uh, but let's get on to the show I'll start with you Luke um, we've got a lot of supporters that want to know where did Luke Nathan come from and why and how did you end up here at the football club? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit of a footy journey uh, uh, so yeah played all my juniors and, and senior footy in Adelaide and then um, we're looking to move on and uh, actually a, a local bloke from Warpy up, Nick Timmers, was living with a, a West Adelaide teammate of, uh, of mine and uh, he put us in touch with a few boys up in the Mallee and yeah, the rest is history. Mm. I believe you played a substantial amount of names, games with uh, West, Westies, West Adelaide. Yeah. Um, you had some good times there at Westies? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Um, played all juniors and senior footy at Westies and um, certainly learned a lot. Through uh, through my development there, and um, yeah, loved it, enjoyed it. Great blokes um, and great times. Yeah. There's something else kept you here to this lovely Mallee country. Is that correct? There is. Yes. Um, obviously, uh, I met uh, my beautiful wife up here. So uh, yeah, it was funny. We'd, I've been playing up here for years and and had never run into her, but uh, but we met and uh, yeah, settled up here now. So with three kids. So. It's funny how footy can dictate where your life heads, and it certainly has with mine. So, but it's been sensational. And what a sporting family you're involved with. Is that correct? Yes, Kyra's uh, going to do the A grade coaching. So with the netball. So um, she's worked really hard actually this year. Probably a lot harder than what I have with uh, with the pre season. So um, hopefully they have a good year. Yeah, looking forward to it. Can you cook? Uh, a, a little. A little, not a lot, just uh, the basics, but Good yeah, cooker. was a bachelor for a fair while, so <laughs> I had to do my fair share, so. What's your favourite food? Uh, well, Kyra's mum, Christine, is an amazing cook, and since I've met Kyra, her lamb roasts are just, yeah, yeah sensational. Um, I grew up watching SNFL Grand Finals over there, and um, to actually run out in one was Probably a moment I'll, yeah, I won't forget, so. What's your proudest moment you've had in your life oh, to now? 100% the kids being born, yeah, and having them run around is sensational. Do you have a hobby at all? Uh, oh, I do, from... I do like it, do like my music, so I, I try and play guitar, I'm not real good, but um, I do like to head out the farmhouse and plug the guitar in and and have a bit of a play out there, so. What's your role in the club this year as joint coach with Andy? Uh, it's sort of come about, Andy had a big year last year on his own um, coaching and he's got a young family as well, so with two young families between us, um, it's very con time consuming coaching. Um, so um, the offer sort of came to me when Andy was keen to go on again to give him a hand on a more, um, I don't know, uh, professional level, I suppose, and and so, um, yeah, we we're going to we're going to do it together, and it will allow us to have that bit of time when we need it with our families, and but still maintain a, a high level of coaching for the boys. Certainly, if he can just relax and and play a bit, play his footy and enjoy it, and I can help him out with the coaching side of it, that it should, it's a win-win. Hey, Andy, it's over to you now. Congratulations on your appointment again, and you know, like. You've had a couple of amazing years with the footy club, you know, first year in the Sunraiser League, mate, you know, when we um, get up there and, and clean them up and it just must have been an amazing feeling that first year. Yeah, it was, Baz. Um, yeah, it's uh, definitely probably my highlight of, um, you know, football career. Um, I've won two other premierships, but yeah, that one's pretty special because no one gave us a chance. but. You know, um, we believed in ourselves and said all, all the way along that we had the side to do it. We just had a few injuries earlier on and were 
able to, you know, have a full sight on the park when it, when it counted, so. What's your favourite food? Um, probably pizza, Baz. Pizza? I'm a bit Pizza's of a pizza good. fan, yeah. Can you cook? Not real good. <laughs> uh, maybe on a barbecue, but yeah, that's about it. I'm not a very good cook. What's your proudest moment yeah, up to now? I'd have to say uh, life moment, yeah, kids. Uh, having kids, a little boy and a girl, and um, yeah, marriage, but obviously football, yeah, three three premierships, and um, yeah. Unfinished business this year? Yeah, um, definitely Baz, um, sort of decided was going to step down, you know, that was as coach, and step back a bit from footy, but yeah, just that unfinished business, and pre really proud of the boys and, and what we achieved, we obviously lost 12 Premiership players from the year before and, and um, had a couple of boys get injured so there was only seven seven guys that actually played in that 2007, uh, 2016 Premiership that played in last year's granny. You know, you're known as one of the toughest and one of the best backmen in the league, alright? You're, um, you, you, you're coaching as well. You know, how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you do all that in? Yeah, it's, uh, I guess um, I can thank my wife because uh, she Good takes, answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, she um, she looks after the family and. Uh, What's your most embarrassing football moment? Um, yeah, it stands out uh, pretty bad actually. Baz, 2009 grand final, played on fullback and um, got caught with, caught with the ball, and uh, yeah, full forward kicked a goal and we lost. It was a bit more than by a goal, but yeah, it's um, pretty pretty embarrassing. Luke. Ah, uh, geez, I'm on the spot now. Um, you don't have one. No, oh, I've got plenty. <laughs> I'm just trying to go through them all. Um, no. Oh, God. But it wasn't mine, but it was a ripper. Um, one that stands out for a teammate was um, first bounce. Uh, he got the ruckman punched the ball down his throat. He was playing um, half forward. Um, instead of turning around and kicking it his way, he kicked it 85 metres the opposite way. They took a mark kick to go, and that was the start of a qualifying final, I think. It was a really big moment. That is so not a good way to start a game. It was a, quite an embarrassing team moment at that stage. How has the pre-season progress this year? Yeah, it's been, um, been really good, Baz. Uh, numbers have probably been up up a bit on last year I'd say, um, yeah. yeah and uh, a, lot of, a lot of the under 16, 18 boys have been joining in too so um, yeah they've been going really well um, but yeah overall it's been been pretty good so yeah pretty excited about the year ahead. Now now you're recruiting you know you've got a, such a great committee that and you, I know you guys forefront all that and uh, your recruiting is amazing. Um, How'd you go this year? Have you any big recruits we should know about? Yeah, well, um, our main goal was to um, maintain our list from last year and then obviously build on it. And uh, yeah, we've pretty much done that. Um, and obviously, yeah, we're lucky enough to get uh, Mark Jamar, who's uh, our first big big signing. Um, he obviously has a connection with the Farrah boys and um, Brad and Dan Stoughton that all play for the for Southern District Crocs. So he was pretty pretty keen to come and have a kick. The boys had sold the club and um, yeah, also a couple of um, ex-premiership players coming back in Alex and, and Tom Morrish. Um, it, yeah, it's really oh, that's going to be fantastic then, boys coming back. And, um, and it's great to see the Crocs have fantastic gear up north and those boys will be stoked when they get down here. And I tell you what, we're going to have some really good interviews with some of these lads from up there as well. So keep, I'll keep you posted with that one. But um, you, you do a great job. Why do these guys keep coming back to this club? Uh, yeah, it's um, they rate it pretty highly. Uh, I think it's just you know the people, Baz. To be honest, um, uh, you know, it starts starts the players, the you know um, supporters, the committee. You know, just everyone around the place. It's just just uh, a really good family club. So yeah, um, you know. Anyone that plays here all speak loves highly it. of it, so everyone loves it, so yeah. First game, we've got Merbeen at Merbeen on Saturday. How, well, we've got a team on the park, have we? Oh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
At this stage we do. Yeah. Yep. No. Yep. All good. All yep. good. So uh, of course there's a few outs there, but um, yeah. but um, you've said you've had a good list to pick from. So yeah. No, we we should um, had a have a really solid side. Um, yeah. There's going to be a couple of guys that miss out. Um, yeah. But we do have a couple of guys that's unavailable too. So. Um, you know, which is a good position to be in. We're um, obviously improved our depth and, and you know, we're going to have to fight a bit, a bit harder for positions this, this year. So hopefully we have a good run on the injury front and don't have to worry about that. But um, yeah, we're being a, a tough side to beat, especially at home. So we know we're going to have to rock up and um, play our best game, that's for sure. Yep. All right. Can you tell me a moment where you've actually laughed at someone? Oh, playing against Andy, that streaker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, in a grand final. In a grand final. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that streak had come out, and that was a moment. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's in history. That one. Yeah, it is. It yeah, is. that streak had come out, and you just didn't know whether to laugh, cry, or, or what was going on, did you? Yeah, but had a good side step on. <laughs> had security coming a bit, so I've never seen anyone jump that fence so good. So you got another hobby you haven't told me about? Yeah, um, just. Uh, uh, the brother-in-law runs a few horses on his farm and the kids always wanted to go and pat this horse and and uh, feed it so I used to take him down there after work and we'd go see this horse. Anyway, it turns out it's going to race and it's a two-year-old, I think it's nearly three-year-old now and we put a few names into the VRC and uh, they came back with uh, the pink pig. I look out in, uh, is it the June long weekend, Swan Hill Races? It's debuting, the pink pig. The pink pig, get on, get on the pink it. pig. Get on the pink pig. <laughs> it was named, the brother-in-law's nickname is the pink pig and yeah, right. we threw it in there for fun and they actually chose it, so. <laughs> All you members out there, get your memberships because we need members to keep the club afloat. Not only that, there is some fantastic business deals for sponsorship and they're fully tax deductible. See the club for them as well. Well, that's about it for our first show. Um, looking forward to next week. Uh, once again, good luck Andy and Luke for the weekend, um, Thanks, yeah. Thanks, for Saturday, hopefully everything goes well and hopefully have an injury free season and um, go Kangas. Mm -hmm.